Wow, I think I finally got my lighting right. Do you see this melanin though? Hey guys, so I am here with a current favorites. I don't have a lot to share, but I just wanted to come and chat with you guys. So I'm just gonna jump into makeup. So before we jump in, my hair is from Lace Hair Collection. I have in three bundles of my Vietnamese Wavy, and I talked about it in the video before this one. I had it in uh, waves and in flexi rods, and this is just the same hair that I straightened out. I have in 14 and 16 inch, and I absolutely love it. So if you want more info on this hair, you can leave a comment below or check out lacedhaircollection.com. I will also leave the link below for my style seat page where you can book an appointment with me, have a wig made, all of that good jazz is all in the description box. All right, so jumping into my current favorite foundation, you guys probably already know what I'm going to mention because I just did a drugstore full face tutorial and I used the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. And I know I'm so late. This has been out for like over a year, but I was so addicted to my uh, Makeup Forever foundation that I just never changed. I never tried any of the foundations and I'm not one to buy a lot of things in bulk. Like I try to like maybe have two foundations on hand and that's it. I don't like to just have a lot of stuff collecting dust. So um, I've been wearing this for the past month or so and this is really good. I'm actually wearing it today, really natural. Um, it has a medium coverage and it's, Pretty good I mean for the price point I feel like you can't beat it I think this is around five bucks at Target and I'm in the shade mocha so I also talked about the L'Oreal infallible pro matte powder in my last video and for a drugstore powder this is really really good I find myself picking this up a lot and whenever I don't really want to wear a full face of makeup I'll just put this on and this gives a pretty okay coverage. So yeah, I'm really feeling this powder and this is in the darkest shade, which is in Cocoa. So another great drugstore powder that we already know about that's been around forever and ever is the Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder. I have it in the shade Dark, but I think I would prefer to mix Dark and Deep together because if you put on too much of the dark all over, if you're my complexion, it can come off a teeny 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 the teeniest bit ashy but if you mix a little bit of that deep in there which has a red base i think it would be perfect and black opal just has great products in general um their foundations their stick foundations are really good i just say that you set them really good and i actually got a tip from clear moy if you guys don't watch her check her out um she did my makeup a month ago and she used all black opal foundations on me and what she did was she patted my face with a towel after she applied the foundation to remove the oil and then she set my face and my makeup literally lasted all day. So that's a good tip for um, foundations that are just too oily. Just take a blotting powder, I mean blotting powder, a blotting, just take a piece of tissue and blot it out, okay? <laughs> But um, yeah, so moving on. Oh, I was sent the entire MAC lip intensity set. Matter of fact, let me grab it. I have never received anything from MAC. In the years of using them and promoting them, I always used to think that they only send products to like really, really huge bloggers and especially bloggers that don't have, you know. <laughs> I do notice that they're getting a little more diverse with who they send their products to. But anyway, I got the entire lip intensity kit and I actually am wearing Ambrosial, which is a really, really pretty color. Oh my God, it, it kind of reminds me of, no, it doesn't. No, actually it doesn't. I have it lined with Night Moth, Night Moth lip liner. I can't talk, um, but this is really pretty. I like. I really like the formula of these lipsticks. They're very creamy, but they are very pigmented at the same time. Because a lot of times when you get really creamy lipsticks, they can be a little sheer and more on the luster side. But um, these are really, really good. One of my favorite shades in this collection, of course, is a nude color. <laughs> and it is called Toast and Butter. I'm not the best at explaining colors, but I would say it's on the spicy brown slight mauve side. It's just really a really pretty color. You guys definitely have to go into MAC and check out Toast and Butter. So I recently picked up these Sonia Kashuk brushes from Target and 
as long as these brushes have existed in Target, I've never picked up a Sonia Cashew brush, not once. I would say the powder brush is definitely my favorite. It's the perfect amount of fluff and it's very soft. It just really just blends my powder in flawlessly. And my second favorite would definitely have to be the contour brush. I like how each brush tells you which one it's for. And my third favorite brush is the small contour. It just really kind of gets into like corners and things like that. Yeah, these brushes are bomb. So I will definitely be um, purchasing some more of her brushes. So if you know my style, you know that I live for anything long and flowy. A long kimono, cardigan, trench jacket. It's in my closet in every color every texture i'm obsessed and normally i don't buy the same thing over and over but i will buy a long flowy anything twice or three times seriously i'm obsessed so while i was in london i picked up this kind of like what do you call this color and this is actually still available at forever 21 like i said i didn't get to do any exclusive shopping in london so i just did the zaras and h&ms and stuff like that you know anyway um and then i picked up this long you can't really see it it's actually a dress but i wear it as a top it's just a long black sheer um dress and it has like a belt here you can't see it but you get the idea so i also got this like it's a sweater jacket i guess you can say this is from new look um i don't know if they have an online store I'm, i've never looked it up but anyway this is like a gray kind of knitted jacket trench number and then lastly from Zara is this really thick and cozy knit sweater. It looks really frumpy on the camera, but um, it's really comfortable and it's very chic and very warm. But this was like perfect for the plane ride. And um, yeah, so it was really, really cute. But that is about it. I think I'm going to talk more about like uh, favorite books, TV shows, and things like that in future videos just so I can make the videos a little longer because I always get you guys asking me to make longer videos and I try to keep it short and sweet because people's attention spans are just not there these days. <laughs> but uh, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will chat with you in the next one.